everyone! Matt the Cat here, and welcome back to another episode of Matt Reacts. Today, we are going to be reacting to Larry Boy Fanatic's Pirates Who Don't Do Anything review. Now, you might be wondering, wait a minute, this isn't Matt the Cat fan content, are you breaking the rules again? No, this also applies to the rules because... Spoiler alert, I was offered to record two lines for this review. Yeah, two lines. I know it sounds disappointing, but there's a reason. There is a reason why I only got two lines. You'll, you'll see when we watch this review. But I've been very hyped to see it. She's been letting us know that she was working on it, and I promised her, hey, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it either way, so, uh... Let's not delay any more. This is Larry Boy Fanatics Pirates Who Don't Do Anything review. Hey, let's make a movie. Yeah. Sure. Movie time. Let's spin the wheel. Mm-hmm. Pizza Angel. Oh, wait. wait. Sure. Let's make a movie. Yep. But, but, Larry Boy. But, Larry Boy. But people like pirates. But don't worry, when Marvel's The Avengers comes out, we'll have something for Larry Boy. Sure, why not? Wow, talk about opportunists. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. You got There's that been right. Times before where VeggieTales has done parodies of pop culture and media. Oh, don't yeah, the worry, they're no stranger parody, for that. A Star Trek parody, and even a Tim Burton's Batman parody. Hmm, but I wonder what on. this parody is about. But after Big Idea's bankruptcy, the studio would struggle for relevancy. While there were a few gems post-bankruptcy, there were other episodes that are either weird or are trying to capitalize on pop culture. Hey, that episode's so good. What are you talking about? Into the list. Pirates who don't do anything. The Pirates Who Don't Do Anything. A silly Even song turned into a movie. Same name has been how would you describe it? I don't know. Basically, but okay. A cinematic disaster as Rotten Tomatoes dictates. Ooh, not a good well, score. The animation is serviceable, and the instrumental music is phenomenal. However, as you watch this film from start to finish, you'll notice that the story isn't too good. Aside from injecting so many <laughs> Disney movie tropes in the story. I saw this movie the once in theaters, and I never remembered a single scene from this. From so and so. Oh or, boy. Seen this plot before? Something tells or, me the development. Movie? Something yeah, tells me the I development of this movie, this movie wasn't good. Back in 2008. Too bad I didn't get to save money on it with this free ticket coupon. Boo. Just so you know, that's not Man and Blueberry. <laughs> Why is Pog Great Blue in that? Why would they release really a plushie like that? The Pirates movie? My viewing of that movie as a 14-year-old consisted of a full house, with the majority of moviegoers being kids. And I was Sounds fair enough to go to this movie by myself. No regrets. Anywho, let's go back in time and open with Somewhere in the 17th century. In the good old 17th century. Well, looks like this guy missed out on the Prince Eric lookalike. <laughs> Because Boom. Roasted. Guys. By the way, this is supposed to be Prince Alexander of Macharia, which is not a real country. That doesn't sound like a good name for a prince. Or maybe I missed it. I don't know. Simple Google search, you guys. Anyway, let me introduce you to the villain, Robert the Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Robert! And here's <laughs> I remember when you post that before. short. Well, the bad guys aren't able to find the princess on board. Okay, hold on. You see this guy? Yep. This guy looks like a Muppet. <laughs> but that's not important. What is important is that he only has a couple of lines in this movie. Nothing else. She's not on board, sir. But Cutlass! This man serves no purpose, miss. <laughs> 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 There's line number one. Seeing that he's some form of inventor, 
The You're welcome, LBF. Like, You're very Olympian. welcome. <laughs> and it's sad. We learned that Princess Eloise and her butler Alfred. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it's Al. Wait, butler, no, it's not Hillary, Alfred. They were able to hide from the bad guys. The army, the navy, heroes. You know, <laughs> suggestions make better sense. That's going to be oh, the yeah, word that's going to be over. overused throughout the movie. Okay, I so can here tell. Introduced to our main characters. Now, let me just cut to the chase here. Paul Grape can't please his family for some reason. Wait. Dang, even his own That's not Paul Grape's, Grape's family. Larry can't impress his girlfriend because he's a walking caution tape. What? Meaning that he's scared of pretty much anything and everything. Oh, Larry. The child you like the Petunia. Fear dar victim before Junior took that title. What is up with that guy? <laughs> Why you wear glasses and have no eyes? I'm write all this down. Uh, think I got some of it. I don't know. I didn't get a single word what, what he said, so... Garbage. Mm -hmm. Not surprisingly, the guys misinterpret the message, believing that they would get starring roles in the pirate show. Is it just me, or Not does Larry look a bit younger? Not surprisingly, the audition doesn't go well. And not surprisingly, the trio gets fired for destroying the theater, wah, wah, wah. which managed to rebuild itself by the time they come back from their time travel whatever. But I'm getting ahead Weird. of myself, folks. Basically, no surprises here. By the way, what's the name of this movie again? For the pirates who don't do anything! <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jimmy, for reminding us what this movie is called. As if to tell us that this movie is starting to be Jimmy is a jerk. I forgot. Seat. Jimmy was a jerk in this movie. Well, it could be something valuable. Like a Russian satellite. Yeah, let me hold this. How thing. is a Russian it's satellite useful? Like a moron. So they press a button and a rowboat appears. Now, what if I told you that these guys time travel in a rowboat thanks to the help seeker? By the way, how was the help seeker able to go from the oceans of the 17th century to a modern day dump truck. Don't ask because questions, just consume product and be happy about it. The ocean. And somehow, it manages to find our guys in an alley from a garbage truck. I mean, there's supposed to be like some kind of time warp or vortex or something. I mean, they don't even show time warp transitions or vortex <laughs> transitions. The time warp so effect of bright easy. light. <laughs> Oh boy. So unless this movie is dealing with two different worlds or Did this movie also had a low budget like the Jonah movie? I don't know if this movie even understands what? the basics of time travel. Why is there time travel in this movie? Oh great. Is it like Sonic 06 with its gimmick of time traveling? Back in time. Again, no time warp or vortex. Wait, there's still a way to change this. If we return to an earlier point in time, we'll be able to save her. It's like her discovering that Barney the dinosaur is real. Quickly, come on. I'm just as confused as you are, boys. Same. So far, I'm not even following along because I forgot how forgettable this movie was. Yeah, we never now I understand why I don't video. remember they, this movie. They just say that he's away. He's gone on business. What kind of business? What's he doing? You would think that look for treasure. Tell his kids fight a rival of his own. Like, even the I don't kids know. Don't even know where their father is because in a later scene, one of the kids is like, "Our father didn't say where he's going, but I would give my own life before I even tell you if he knew." When is the king returning? He didn't say, but even if he had, I'd give my own life before I tell you. So even the kids don't know okay. where the father's at. You would think that the father would at least tell his kids where he's going. But then again, that's what the evil uncle wants to know. So Oh, I forgot yeah, he's an father. uncle. So the boys that, decide to play that along. That flew over my head. Is, yeah, their normal lives suck, but living a lie is cool. <laughs> The spies are in place, sir. Yeah, very intense. You're basically a Muppet. The plot holes are in place, miss. Line two. Thanks, Matt. No problem, LBF. You are very <laughs> welcome. <laughs> That's it. That's all the voices I get. Yeah, shut up.
Also, the guy looks like a Muppet. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, Lord. Robert showing Alexander his secret lake. Okay, why build a dock inside a cavern? A while before we see them again. But he always finds time for me. His little Ellie's. Again, you would think the father would care enough to let his kids know where he's going. And that Weird. Robert is such a threat to the kingdom. Remember, so be now? brave. Don't yeah, cry, Elise, no matter problem. what happens. But we'll get back to that soon enough. Why does it remind you're me of the plot of Sonic 06? Uh, now you're just asking to be snatched up by Robert's cronies. <laughs> <laughs> you just beamed that guy. Not as many musical numbers. You just beamed that guy with the beer mug. What? That's just strange because that's what you're known for, Betty Tells. I mean, come on. Sorry if I didn't pay attention to what you just said. I got distracted by the whack with the beer mug. This belongs to Robert the Terrible. Surprise, surprise. Ugh. And you would think Eloise would know that already, since the sword fight at the beginning was causing quite a ruckus. So the butler had to hide. For the before anyone questions, they're vegetables. How are they holding the swords? They were able to pick up objects without lens before the bankruptcy of Big Idea. Going, so I doubt that he tells them about their evil uncle and what all he's about. By the way, you just know the goal of protecting the princess is doomed to fail because one of Robert's spies. <laughs> oh boy. Plus the bartender recognized her too. So let's call off this adventure. It's getting way too serious for our heroes. Oh my lord. But Eloise convinces him to stay. Wait, how did you Wait, not get kidnapped? What? Uh, uh, you no, were in a Princess Peach no, moment there. My father brought you here for a reason, and your work here is not done. Okay, so... When did you have power, girl? These three guys. Guys with families. Guys that is not Paw Grape's family. No, you cannot convince me that that's Paw Grape's family. You to tell me that they can't return home until their work as heroes is done. What work? They're the pirates who don't do anything. Pirates. They do Intense nothing zilch nada. And a tyrant who's hell bent on killing anyone who stands in his way. Basically, chop them in the cutting board. <laughs> Great. Where do I sign up? Because obviously, we're not dealing with a sociopath here. Oh boy. He always makes time for his little Eloise, huh? That's because he's been a freaking painting this whole time. <laughs> oh! What? Burn! Uh, Daddy, can you pass the salt? <laughs> I think that was a yes. So, uh, how's your father, the painting? Yeah, boys, he sure has a <laughs> personality. Girl, you need a social life if you talk to a painting all day. Make some friends or something. So, uh, how do we get out of a sticky one? I know. Create a lazy montage. Yay! Hammocks! I love hammocks. This song is a bit catchy. Hey, look at this. It's my fan art. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I forgot that she also showcased everyone's fan art. Thank you to John Bostick, 100 Awesome Sauce, Jack Pumpkinhead, Blaze Bro Gaming, One Ultra Michael 487, <laughs> Junior Slays. Hmm, where's that light switch? There we go. <laughs> a light switch that controls the sky. Did you like put a command in the Minecraft console? Set it to nighttime. You would think that big idea would make a feature film about him. Yeah. A generic pirate adventure mixed with a lot of Disney cliches takes the cake. Well, pirates are underrated, and superheroes are overrated, so it makes sense to make a pirate movie. Right? Oh, I'm sorry, 
well, I was describing the movie. Oh, okay, this is the only scene that I remember from the movie. The pit of cheese curls. God, what else can go wrong? When the ball bleeps, our work is done and we can go home. Don't you want to go home? Don't you want to see your kid? Wait, wait, um... Don't go there, Larry! And, right, so we're getting close and again, the that's wrong. not Paw Grape's family. Time, this is Paw Grape's family. Get it right! That this movie has. So the help seeker is blinking, indicating that it's time to go home. However, it's blinking at the very moment that the princess is being kidnapped. While this wouldn't be a big deal now, this plot point is going to be huge later on in the movie. Huge? Yes. So Paul and Larry decide to keep going. Meanwhile, Mr. Lunt is being chased by these things. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese curls. Mr. Lunt meets a crab, which shows him a Wait, photo of him what? and his girlfriend. This has him realized. How did you have a photo of? Oh my God, my brain cells. Incorporated. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that whoever was that guy sounds similar to me? Just, is it just me? I don't know. I can once again enjoy the benefits of royalty. Oh, great. It's a genetic, genetic evil villain cliche. Duh. She has somewhat of a good backstory through her ancestry trying to take over Bumbleberg with temptation. She had her great uncle Ephraim, who tried to take over Bumbleberg when it was in its settlement years. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. centuries later, the bad apple arrives, tries to take over Bumbleberg, but yeah. fails. While some of what the bad apple says or does may seem cliche, her uniqueness outshines the cliches. Her mechanical spider legs, her ability to create portals. And her seductive nature makes her an interesting character. To be fair, that was the inspiration of the scripted event in my Splatoon livestream. Every single jealous brother wants to take the throne story that you ever heard in your life. Oh, in great. other words, this movie chooses to suck off as many Disney tropes as possible, including The Lion King. What a waste of potential. So that's why I forgot about it. <laughs> Nobody. Oh my god. <laughs> time to take in what just happened. Papa's got to find Oh my god. Anyway, they <laughs> I'm sorry, that bit with Larry and her screaming, that, that, got, that caught me off guard. My God, it's still going. The cheese curls! Oh yeah, they swam to the other island and continue to... The monster helps the guys get through the clapping pass. Oh, the clapping pass. Yep, that's the one person who actually enjoyed this movie. They're the ones clapping right now. What was that Rotten Tomato score again? That was my sarcastic clap. Anyways, take this. Oh my hey, god! You monster! Quick! Someone swat it! <laughs> That's not how you swat a sword. What? What? Uh, what? Hi guys. Well, here's a problem. This thing's an animatronic. Oh great! I assume it's a Five Nights at Freddy's reject. <laughs> Of course, if it's a robot and it looks like an animal, you have to make a reference. Thank you, Hot Pockets. But it has to be a reference to FNAF. It just has to. It's legally obligated and YouTube algorithm rules. Which, why would you do that? I mean, they confess that they're not real heroes, even though there's a bad guy threatening to kill someone. Yeah, so what gives? There, Eloise, you happy? But then Make a chop salad! A chandelier with a donkey on it. You know, the third thing from the blind guy's prophecy. The crab. I still don't understand. 
have a crab before time had an image of Mr. Lunt and his girlfriend in the present day. That makes no sense. This was an era where cameras were not invented. Oh my god, what the heck is that? Row, row, row your boat down the stairs and into the cistern. <laughs> you really like that, don't you? <laughs> oh, you had your fun with that one. You had a, your fun with that. <laughs> I wonder how much you're gonna milk that joke. I'm not. I'm not insulting you or anything, but I'm. I'm wondering how far you're gonna go. So you don't have to. You know this. I credit. However, the bad guys wow, that animatronic had seen some better bad days. Bad should have obliterated our heroes. There it rains now, boys. Finish them. Uh, correction, they were in range this whole time. You just suck at aiming. Oh, <laughs> snap! <laughs> you are on fire with the insults. He doesn't have a name, by the way. He's just the king. Hey, that name was already taken by a character in the Zelda CDI games. This is copyright infringement. The generic villain always goes down with his ship. How's his robot body still operating in the water? Lazy. Here's a medal for growing some balls. Here's a medal for wearing glasses in this movie. Okay, now, old fart. Those plot points I mentioned earlier, the fact that the king leaves his children out in the open as Robert grows What a terrible father, am I right? Hope Seeker doesn't send people home <laughs> until they've completed their hero job. <laughs> the fact that the Help Seeker blinks during the time when the king's daughter, the princess, is being kidnapped. After everything that I've seen, I fully understand why I easily forgot about this movie, and I don't remember anything about it. So basically, you guys, you're telling me that this king is willing to gamble with his children's lives so that he could do what? Teach these three guys, these random strangers, how to be real heroes? Terrible, Dad! Throw him overboard! <laughs> Seeing that the king mentioned that his help is always with the heroes as they carry around the help seeker, a device that can travel through time to pick up these guys. How do they the even invent it? Is it didn't and let's not isn't forget, this era this is take place in the seventeenth century? So our boys go back to the present. I don't think they had inventions like the that back then. But in a later scene, everything is the same, almost as if the boys had never left. That's not how time travel works. At least, I don't think. I mean, if you've seen Back to the Future, you would know that. Even check I've out played Sonic 06, and I can tell so you, again, this the, the time travel story, parts so make no sense right at all. There's not even a single paradox in the travel. story. Speaking of hitching rides, guess who sneaks onto their boat as they go back to the present? <laughs> <laughs> Just shut your eyes and keep your back turned. How? You mean to tell me that this guy, a guy who's skilled in the mechanical arts, can't tell the difference between a grape and a gourd? Wow. You know the drill. Can't believe it. Our managed to subdue the villain and send him back to his home planet. Notice how no cops were called as some tyrannical loser is wielding a dangerous weapon <laughs> stage. Yeah, just throw him in a prison cell. You no know, need to teleport him back to the pri to the past. He's going to commit the same crime anyway. You have families and girlfriends to tend to. You guys need a job. So maybe yeah. That's why you guys Get a life like I do. I don't. So rather cosplay as pirates That's than so do sad. anything to your loved ones. I guarantee you this will all end in a bitter divorce and breakups. In this way, we'll have an excuse as to why they live on a ship in the Jonah movie. Anyway, music video. Oh you know, boy. Okay, song. Not gonna lie. Oh look, it's Robert doing the robot. 
Oh, oh great. Original. Petunia, what's with the Marge Simpson wig? First off, I agree. And second of all, where were you this whole time, Bob? The movie's Yeah, over. Bob. And that was the Pirates of Don't Put your non-existent hands in the air and give me your credit card. That's a wrap. <laughs> Alrighty, so those were my thoughts on the pirates who do something in a generic pile of whatever. They do something, okay? They did they something, the but I but it felt like they did nothing. Movies. No wonder people like Jonah more than this movie. I agree. I, 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 I it sounded like I was a bit like bored. I I was trying so hard to follow along. <laughs> Thank you, Jonah. My goodness. Okay, that movie. Dewey noted, never watch Pirates Who Don't Do Anything ever again. Alright. Lovely, lovely video right there. Good job, LBF. <laughs> also check out my Red Bubble merch store. A lot of good stuff there. And you we are very you know, welcome. TikTok, I did not mean Instagram, to hit that. You are very TikTok. welcome with but, me providing two lines for... I'm sorry, I'm just bit. so tired, like, after <laughs> putting together this review. But yeah. I would be, thing. too. <laughs> We are the pirates who don't do anything. Eyes and pledge your ears at the Larry Boy multiverse. And stay tuned for that plot holes video. A plot hole video? I, I was not expecting that, but okay, sure, sure, du duly noted. So that was Larry Boy Fanatic's Pirates Who Don't Do Anything review. My goodness. Yep, it's no wonder why I forgot about that movie. Because the plot and the scenes are forgettable. The only scenes that I can sort of recognize was Mr. Lunk getting chased by the cheese curls, Larry destroying the animatronic dragon, and that one guy beaming someone's nose with a beer mug. <laughs> but other than that, who even... It's no wonder why I only saw it once in theaters and forgot about it. That movie is so forgettable. No wonder no wonder why the reviews are lower than Jonah. It shows that there's no effort in this one. Well, I'm I'm not going to shame on anyone who likes this movie, but if you like the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything movie, great. More power to you. But after seeing this review, I'm fully convinced that the movie is just bad. It's just bad. But anyways, uh, that is it for this episode of Matt Reacts. If there are is if there's any other Matt the Cat fan content that you want to show me, whether it's a reanimated scene or a YouTube poop or a compilation or whatever, anything that's Matt the Cat related, post it to me on my Discord server. Link is in the description. And uh, we'll see if I get to react to it, alright? So, do yourselves a favor, go watch Jonah. It's a much better movie than this one, even though it did put Big Idea in a big bankruptcy. But that is all the time that I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Meow meow.